A new anime was announced from the light novel series Playing Dead Games to put food on the table. It's the latest new anime that will be coming out. No year to date was announced. But I'm assuming that it would probably be in the year 2025. Most likely be around summer 2025 or maybe fall 2025 since we're around that season right now which is summer 2024 and fall 2024. We're at the tail end of the summer season for anime. So it could come out during that time. Get ready to meet Yuki, a teenager who stays alive by cheating death. It was announced today that the light novel series Playing Death Games to Put Food on the Table has an anime adaptation now in production. No announcement of a release date. That's why I am predicting when it could come out. No trailer. The only thing that we got is a video from the voice actress that will be playing Yuki. And if you actually want that video or see that video, let me know in the comment section down below. And then I would put the link in the description if you actually want to look at the video or see the video or maybe just hear the video and actually hear the voice of this Yuki girl. A special announcement video narrated by voice actors Rai Takahashi and produced by Kafu of Argument Studio premiered this morning. The video introduced Yuki, the protagonist of the series, and gives a glimpse of the many death games she played over the course of the light novel series so far. So if you actually read the light novel series, then you might know what's going to happen throughout the entire anime series for however long they continue the series, especially if it does get popular, there might be a second season, who knows. Here's a visual art of what she could look like in the anime series. I don't know if they're getting this from the cover art from the light novel series, who knows. More information including cast, crew, and release window will be available at a later date. So I'm expecting for more news to come out for this anime. So maybe around November. The closer we get to the year 2025, the more likely we're going to get more information. It could be even earlier than I predicted, which could be around maybe spring 2025. I think everything that's coming out during winter 2025 has already been released. Playing Death Games to Put Food on the Table is written by Yushi Yukai and illustrated by Neko Metaru. The ninth volume will be released in Japan on September 25th and a manga adaptation is currently running in Katakawa Shotan's Com Ace Seinen Manga Magazine. So there is a manga version if you don't want to read the light novel series. I don't like reading books, so if I ever want to actually look up this series, I'll probably most likely read a manga than a light novel. Yuki wakes up to find herself from unfamiliar manner, wearing a maid uniform and laying on a luxurious bed. Soon, she discovers five more girls, all dressed the same as her. This is the ghost house, and the only way they can survive is to make it through the traps that lie in weight deadly games full of blown guns, buzz saws, locked rooms, and weapons. It's a hopeless, terrifying situation for everyone there. Well, everyone except Yuki. After all, this is her career at 17. Do you think? That's odd. She would agree, but that's how some people are. They earn their living playing death games. So she played death games. That's her career. Wow. I'm, I'm assuming that the other girls will not be successful in surviving these death games that she plays. Not on them, but she plays. I'm assuming that this is a thing where they just randomly maybe abduct other people. Maybe it's just, just women. I don't know. 
this series at all. So I could be wrong. It, it could just be random people or it could be just women that they dress up into maid outfits and they decide, you know what, let's play a, a death game and the winner gets a prize, I guess. Who knows? Who knows? This is not a lot of information, so I'm hoping that they would actually put more information and details whenever they do release them. I'm hoping more details about this series to come out. I have to actually watch a trailer, an actual trailer, not a teaser trailer, because usually they produce a teaser first before they actually have a main trailer, a full-on trailer to actually get people to actually watch this series. The teaser is supposed to do that. But some people wait for the full-on trailer, the main trailer. Sometimes they release two trailers, two main trailers, which could happen in this series. So hopefully it's not what I think it is, and that is the other women, the other girls, might be having some problems. <laughs> I'm saying that they might die. While Yuki is surviving, the other girls are dying, which is sad. And I don't want to see their death. I might not watch this anime series because I don't like seeing death. Especially some disgusting ways to die death. Like oh, like maybe getting sawed in half or your head coming off. Or just randomly hitting a trap and uh, falling on the floor. And then the floor disappears and the bottom of the floor, at the bottom of that floor trap... It's a bunch of spikes and you fall to your death. None. I don't like seeing that. No. I don't like seeing that. Maybe here and there, but not every single time. No. No. There's no trailer, guys, like I said. So if you actually want to watch, like I said, the video that they mentioned, just let me know. I'll leave a link in the description. It's all up to you if you actually want to watch the actual actors maybe describe what's going on or maybe just say, well, this is happening. Who knows what she's saying in that video. I didn't watch it. I don't watch those type of videos. Only anime videos I watch are trailers and that's it. I don't watch like videos that have the actress or the main actress or the main actor explaining the series or just mentioning like, hey, this is happening. I saw a live. Thank you for commenting on one of my videos. I saw a live. Also, thank you to Shog on Heroin also for commenting 963. So, shout out to those commenters. I will shout you out every so often if you do leave a comment. Even if you do leave a bad comment, I will still maybe shout you out. If you actually want to shout out, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you have any ideas or any comments about this video, let me know in the comment section down below and I hope to see you on the next video guys. Peace out.